Hey everyone, so for today's quick tip, we're gonna talk about depth of cut for two axis profiles. Uh, how we can take multiple passes to get to the bottom and some of the options that we have for your depth of cut. Let's go ahead and jump right in. Now I have a part already set up here. I have my zero set up, I have my stock set up, and I even have a two axis profile feature. You'll notice right now we're taking a single depth of cut. It's going all the way down to the bottom. Let's go ahead and make some changes to that. We're gonna edit our feature here, okay? We're gonna go over to our parameters tab, and then we're gonna go down to where the depth option is. Now, right now, it's set to single step, and with a single step, it will go to your total depth. Now, if you're not sure where we got the total depth from, you define the total depth in the selection process, but if you wanna change it at any time, you can go to the feature tab and adjust the total depth. And let's jump back into parameters and let's look at taking multiple steps to get down to the bottom. If we turn multiple steps on, this will give us our depth of cut value. Now we can make an adjustment to this value for how deep we wanna cut. Now there's two settings for your depth of cut. You have even depths and defined depths. And that's part of the subject for here today. Uh, even depths allows you to input any number into the depth of cut field but what will happen is the software will uh, look at that number it's going to look at the total depth and then it will adjust that number so we're taking an even amount of material for each pass so if i change this to 120 it's going to go to 100 thou if i change it to 137 you can see how it goes to a quarter inch again giving us an even depth of cut for each pass Let's go ahead and compute that and take a look. You can see how it's taking four passes to get down to the bottom, taking a quarter inch for each pass. Now, if we come back over to our feature and edit it, let's go back to parameters. This time, let's look at defined depths, okay? With this value, you could put in any depth of cut amount that you want, and the software will use that depth of cut. Now, you'll notice in this example, we have two number of cuts that are calculated. The software will take the depth of cut amount that you've defined and use that number as many times as it can to get down to the bottom. And then whatever is left over, that will be your final pass. So if we recompute this here, you can see we get one pass at the 450 and then we get what's left over. Now this is a very useful feature. Uh, sometimes this is used in woodworking applications for like an onion skin, but it is important to understand even depths can adjust the amount that you put in here. Defined depths will go the exact amount that you tell it, and then whatever is left over, it will take that as your final pass.